Hi guys, welcome back to Star of Substance. Happy Sunday and welcome to today's video. I have been a naughty, naughty little girl and I have been shopping again. Well no, not naughty, you know what? You work hard, you reward yourself. And that is exactly what I did and what I do pretty much every month without fail. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I picked up in Zara, clearly you guys know what that is because you've seen the thumbnail. There's a few things in here that I've picked up before but decided I wasn't really sure about them so there's going to be a, a one, at least one, repeat offender. But anyway this is all workwear so let me just get into it and show you. So the first item I'm actually wearing it's this short sleeve, well it's kind of like short sleeve, it's almost sleeveless a little bit. Um, it's just um, a very casual but you could dress it up um, kind of top. It's very low cut, so excuse me if I flash you at any point during this video. It's got these, this ruching in the middle and then it's got this tie and you can kind of like um, really gather it in the center there, which I quite like. Um, it's very easy, it's the kind of thing that I would wear if I was chilling at home, but then if I needed to go out or like pick something up, I would pop it on as well. So it's really nice. I took the uh, label off it, but it was $17.99 and I picked it up in a size small and it's from the uh, just the basic woman collection. Everything else ugh, came in this bag here. I actually had two bags, but one split. And I asked for a plastic bag, but apparently Zara only do those in the sale, which I think is silly because if you're getting lots of bulky stuff, bags are about to... It, anyway, anyway, it's not a good thing. So the reason probably why the bag, the first bag ripped, is for this bad boy. <clears throat> Now, I've been umming and ahhing about this jacket for yonks. Uh, you guys will have seen it in a Zara haul that I did. You've also have seen it, sorry, I've got tic tacs in. Um, you've also have seen it, a similar item in H&M haul I did a little while back. But I got it, took it back, got it again in a different style, took it back because I wasn't sure how I would rock it or if I could rock it, in fact. So I decided. So take the plunge and I can rock it. Now it is $89.99 so it's very very pricey but it is extremely warm. Um, it's been snowing over the past week here in London and uh, generally the temperatures have been quite cool so a jacket like this is exactly the kind of thing you need. Um, I won't go into loads of detail on it because you guys have probably seen this all over the internet and YouTube but it's got this like fur lining on the inside and leather on the outside. It's got um, the buckles and all the zips and everything are silver, which is very much my colour palette. She says wearing gold. <laughs> uh, but no, I've got silver jewellery on. I mix metals. Um, and I got it in a size extra small. But this is just one of those keep warm, stay fashionable jackets. So I've decided I'm going to keep it this time because I think I can definitely get some use out of it in the colder months but also just on a casual day where you want to feel cozy and like you know if you're getting out of your bed on a weekend generally if you were like work during the week it's it's a hard time so if you put something like this on you almost feel like you've got a bit of that coziness with you all day so love that see how annoying this top is i feel like i need to clip it or something anyway next item is these trousers so Love houndstooth and houndstooth is very in right now. It's like what is um what is that sport? It's like um clay pigeon shooting chic is in. So very much old English countryside kind of swag is is really taking the scene by storm and so I thought I'd join in with these this pair of trousers. It's from the um the basic collection. I picked them up in a medium. And they've got, what I love about these um, trousers that Zara do is they've got the stretchy back. So for all of my wide hip or big bum sisters, these are really good um, because unlike normal trousers, they will stay up and they don't like peek down to show your underwear, which can get very annoying, especially if you're in the office. And generally, we always have to counter that by wearing long tops. But these are lovely. Um, I will be trying these on, styling them up on my Instagram as well, so make sure you come and follow me over there, it's at SWSblog, um, and just like one of my last posts, um, and that way you'll generally, hopefully, see see when I post, because you know the algorithm got everybody, but look, 
but those will just be good for like workwear a lot of this is workwear to be honest because that is where i spend most of my time i couldn't just stop at one so i picked up this other pair and the reason why i got both they're very similar looking but i loved what i loved about these is the sort of um it's kind of like a peachy salmon um color running through them in the stripes and um, you'll see it a lot better in the cutaway but again this has got the stretchy back and yeah just really cute love the cut and um, they're not too long um they're just perfect for work so really love those oh and i got these in a medium and they were 25.99 as were the others um, so then i got some jeans which also have this stretchy back thing going which is amazing because jeans is really where I struggle with that. Um, so these are the mid-rise skinny jeans. I got them in a 38 and they were 25 99 but I just needed a new pair of like black, plain black jeans. Well, I say plain black, I mean these are not plain really, but just a new pair of black jeans because um, black jeans tend to go a bit off colour very quickly. Um, so I have a few, a few pairs from Zara, but they tend to lose that, the black dye. So yeah, I needed to to replace those so yeah i got these very nice very simple nothing much to them then this one was actually a really interesting find so you know when you're in like uh the changing rooms and you <laughs> you're all no i was queuing for the changing rooms and the queue was long yesterday so long i think because it had been snowing and saturday yesterday was the first day that everybody had probably been out of the house all week for people who were like who had heavy snow and i live in kent so Kent generally gets hit the worst by extreme weather. So I think the, the shopping centre was packed. Zara was packed. The queues were long. Um, but anyway, I was in the queue to get into the changing rooms and I saw this one on the side. I love it when that happens when you just... Well, I don't always love it and my bank account doesn't always love it. But <laughs> needs must. But I just saw this um, hung up. Uh, somebody had like dumped it somewhere randomly. Um, and it's just... It's really simple. It's just this black um, short-sleeved dress which is quite stretchy um but fitted i love the potential that this has for layering so when i find like that perfect white shirt which i'm still looking for and um, because i also want to do a video um around how to style like the classic button down white shirt and i want to get a really good one for it um but you could layer this with that um or you could just wear it by itself pop the belt around it just to style it up a little bit but a very simple um but perfect perfect piece for the office this I got in a size small and it was $29.99. So then I picked up this really, really cute cardigan. Again, this is another item that somebody had just dumped that I found while I was queuing for the teal. So, and that's where they really get you. Like, it's not in the stuff that you go and try on and, you know, you're, like, sold on it. It's the stuff that is, like, by the teal. And I feel like they do that on purpose. Like, if somebody takes an item of clothing from where it doesn't belong and puts it by the teal, I feel like the staff don't move it to trap you because they want you to pick it up while you're queuing to pay. So you're like, I'm here anyway, I might as well. I don't have time to try it on, I'll just put it in and bring it back if I don't like it. We see what you're doing. Anyway, um, it's this really cute uh, cardigan from the knitwear collection. It's got this lovely white, um, white trim with this pop of red, so a little bit of colour in there and these pearl buttons. I know my mum is going to love this. We have a very similar taste in fashion, but um, how would I wear this? Probably also with a shirt, white shirt, um, and uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, like a white shirt, plain black trousers or plain grey trousers, uh, maybe a skirt, but yeah, this is really cute, really cute. You could also wear it just like, as a top. Really love that. And that was... Um, $29.99, I got it in a size small. Another very, very worky top, worky, is that even a word? Is this one. And so um, it's this salmon, is it like a salmon? No, it's more a beige, beige salmon pink top um, with this black trim um, and a tie, a bow tie thingy at the back. It's very simple, it's very office appropriate. This is just the kind of stuff that goes really nicely um, in a tailored blazer. Um, I got it in a size small, it was $25.99. And it's just really simple, really simple top, but just the kind of thing that works really well with, um, oh no, I've got makeup on it. I hope that's my makeup. Um, yeah, it just works really well when you're doing separates. The next piece was another just by the Till Find. Um, 
love this it's coming up very red on camera i don't know why but it's actually more of a like a dark pink deep dark pink it is this v-neck jumper it's almost like a jumper dress to be honest because it's so big but um i picked it up in a size large just because i just found it and i was like you know what that's really cool for like that would be really cool for like chilling at home and just being cash um so yeah I don't remember how much this was. 19.99. So yeah, really cool find. I wish I would have found it in my size, but you know what? That's fine. Cool. And last, but by no means least, is another turtleneck. I don't know why I keep buying these because I've actually realised that turtlenecks don't actually suit me. Like I think anything with a cut like this is probably where my comfort zone is. Um, the older you get, the more you realise like what actually you should be wearing and what actually flatters you. And I always thought that I had a really long neck, but actually when I put on tail neck, I realised my neck is not long at all, at all. So it just makes me look very, makes my face look fatter. Um, but I'm, you know, I like them, so whatever. <laughs> so I got this nice um, pastel pink with these pearls on the sleeves. And yeah, everybody's got these. Um, last season they did them with like gold buttons, and this season they're doing them with the pearls which are very in um i got this in a size small it was 19.99 and how would i rock this i'd probably rock this with like a really cute mini skirt and my over the knee boots um stuart wiseman over the knee boots and um, which are gray so maybe the skirt i have a skirt from mango which would go really nicely with that outfit so that is everything um i hope you guys have enjoyed the haul i just thought i'd keep it really casual um i was out last night so I'm feeling a little sorry for myself <laughs> um, but yeah I just wanted to share some of the bits that I've picked up for work uh, we are going into spring but it's probably only gonna get warm here in the UK from about I don't know April May onwards so I thought you know what let me keep with the like wintry stuff and then when it eventually does warm up then I'll start bringing you the summer hauls but yeah bag is empty Hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you next week for my motivational videos. Those will be back up and running again. I didn't have any up last week because I was really ill and wanted to rest, recover, let my body just come back to life um, and not be on those videos, you know, sniffing and doing a husky voice, which is exactly what I sounded like. I'm still not 100% over it, but... I am well enough to bring you those again. So look out for those every day, every weekday next week. They go up at 7 a.m. So make sure you turn on your post notifications and then you get a nice little wake up call with that video. Um, I wanna thank you guys for the support so far on those and just the support in general. Um, we are growing a lovely little community here. As you know, the goal is to get to 100K this year. Um, don't know how we're going to do it, but at the end of the day, it's all about just putting out content, being present, and bringing you guys some of the things I know you like to see. Um, I know you love the motivational content. I know you love the hauls. So I'm just going to keep doing more of what you love. Um, otherwise, hope you guys have an incredible week. And I will see you on Monday for your Monday motivation video. Make sure you're subscribed. Share this video with a friend. And come follow me on my socials. I'll have linked them down below along with all of the items that I picked up from Zara. Thanks, guys. Bye.